Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Melanie and we are starting more seeds in today's video. Today we are going to be starting lettuce seeds. It's a baby leaf blend and we are going to be starting three different kinds of onions. I will go through those as we start them. And I'm also going to be starting sweet potato slips. This is a sweet potato. Look at it compared to the size of my head. Um, was one that we grew in our garden and I picked the biggest one to start slips from. Hopefully that means all of them will be really big next year. We didn't, they didn't grow the biggest for us last year. Um, I believe it was because it was so dry and we really kind of forgot about watering our sweet potatoes, but still gave some and so we've been enjoying them. So I think first we're going to start with our lettuce. So I've already got my tray um, prepared. This is just a foil cake pan and it's got holes in the bottom that I poked with uh, a nail or something. And then I use the plastic part or just another foil cake pan underneath to catch any water as well I can water from the bottom, right? So let's start with the lettuce. So let's see what this says. It says planting depth is an eighth of an inch. So I will just sprinkle some seeds in here. So the reason I'm starting lettuce is because lettuce is expensive in the store and it's the three reverse challenge right now. And so I'm not buying groceries from the store. I should have started this months ago, but uh, I figure, you know what, in two months time or so we can have fresh lettuce and it, it will be middle of March or something. And um, we will be grateful for the greens. I don't typically buy lettuce in the winter anyway. We try and just eat from our pantries and what in our root cellars and things that we've grown and raised. So yeah, I'm excited. This is a blend. I've never grown it before. It says days to harvest is variable because of the tender leaves. And yeah, we will see how this works. So I'm just going to sow or seed some because I want to save some for in our garden when we do plant this. So we'll just see, I'm just gonna sprinkle it in here kind of and see how this goes, how many seeds I might need. And I think I will transplant this. Um, there, I think that's it. It didn't use a lot of seeds at all. So that's okay. I will save these for in the garden. So that's it. I will sprinkle just a tiny little bit of soil. I've got my soil prepared here. Just sprinkle a tiny little bit of soil over top and we will put it in a sunny location and we will go from there. We will hope and pray that this grows just like all of our other things that we are planting. I do normally pray that God blesses my seed starting because I am hoping that this year I don't have to buy any seedlings at all, including flowers. So hopefully that goes well for me. Okay, so next is I made a label, lettuce baby leaf blend, and I will stick this in here on the side. And I'll set this aside and we'll put some saran wrap after, or some cling wrap, whatever, to um, keep the humidity in, right? Let's do the potato next. It is like, you cannot get anything easier than this, literally. Same idea. A foil pan on top with holes. And then another one underneath to catch any water. You literally just stick this in the soil. Now maybe I should have made my soil a little bit deeper. Make a bit of a trench for the potato to sit in. And you literally cannot get, here, let me tilt the camera down a little bit more. There, you literally cannot get any easier than that. So just press it in, make sure the soil is around it. And that's what I did last year and it worked out splendidly. So I'm only doing one potato for start. I don't think I need more than that this year. So there you go. 
that is how easy it is to start your own sweet potato slips. I'm obviously going to be giving you updates on how all of my seed starting has gone. And you'll see probably in about four to six weeks, there'll be some good sized shoots coming off. We'll set that one aside. And then we can focus on our onions. So last year when I bought my onion seedlings at a greenhouse, I literally bought them in these, I would say they're four inch pots, but they're deep pots. They're about six inches deep, maybe five, six inches deep. And that's how my onion seedlings came and they worked out amazingly. So there was probably like, I don't know, around 60 to 80 onion starts in a um, container like this. So I'm gonna see how many packages it takes. So I have one package of the Sweet Spanish Utah that's already started. So I'm just going to literally sprinkle my seeds in. Oh, I might need a little more than this. We'll see. You can, you honestly can start them pretty close together because it's not going to harm them at all if they're close together. Maybe a little chunk of dirt here. There. And maybe that's all I'll do from that time, that variety anyway. So I have my label. So I do not forget what variety that is. I need to put soil on it yet. All right, so then next we're gonna do talon onions. These are amazing storage onions. Oops. Um, now I get most of my seeds from Ontario Seed Company and Vessies. Occasionally I get some from Mackenzie Seeds, from Stokes, or from West Coast Seeds. They're all Canadian companies as I'm in Canada. So let's see how many seeds are in here. Oh, these are an interesting color. These are more of a, like a gray speckled. Most onion seeds are like black. <laughs> Interesting, okay. So I'm just going to sprinkle them in here. I definitely have lots of these seeds and I think I'm gonna run out of soil today, but that's all right. Okay, those two are the talon onion. I am planting a ton of onions this year. Last year, or last fall, for whatever reason, my when I was trying to cure my onions, they all started rotting from the inside. Not all, but a lot. I had, I had hundreds of onions, and uh, they started rotting for me from the inside out. And so I was very, very disappointed. So talon onion, I need to make another label. And that's two varieties, or two, that's one only one package. Okay, um, how many seeds do I have? I think I'm gonna do lots because, I really want a lot of onions next year. I wanna be able to make my own onion powder and minced onions, dried minced onions. So I definitely need to go get another bag of soil in. But for today's purpose, this will suffice. I also have the early globe onions. They're a little bit earlier, earlier of a variety. And, um, we will see. I definitely want to do lots of onions, like I said. So we will finish up with these and then I will go and get more soil from the garage later. It just has to be warmed up because you don't want to. You don't want to plant seeds in cold soil. So I'm just going to sprinkle now. I think most of these say just um, half inch of soil. What was the Sweet Utah one? Half inch, okay. So we'll just sprinkle some soil over top. Not too much, but enough that the seeds are covered. And press the soil down so that the seeds have good contact with the soil. 
Last year, I tried to start my own onions as well, and they just did not germinate well for me. I don't know if the seed was old or what it was. Maybe it was my method of planting. I don't know. Um, yeah, I'm trying a few. I did not start them in deep containers like this. So maybe that's the trick. I don't know. I asked the lady. So I get most of my seedlings when I do buy seedlings from um, local like Amish Mennonite greenhouses. And so um, I asked the lady how she started her onion seedlings. And she told me this is how she does them. She sprinkles like a hundred seeds or so into um, a container like this. And then obviously you trim them as they grow to keep them from bulbing, right? So um, like up until you plant them in the garden, obviously. So that is what I'm trying this year. So here we have our four different containers. There's three of the Thailand onions and one of the sweet Spanish Utah. And I want to plant all of my seeds, I think, that I have for onions. So I definitely don't need to go get more, more um, soil in. But we're just going to moisten this top soil, make sure those seeds get moist. If the seeds are dry, they won't germinate. And I should, oh, drop that. I should also mention that I have sterilized all of my pots um, and all of my pans and trays, things like that, with a bleach water solution. Um, it just made sure that to kill off any, you know, bacteria and germs from last year's garden. And also just from storage, I was throwing them out in my shed outside so that you know there's bugs and there's spiders and there's all sorts of things in there so i think that is going to be it for today's video i should show you my seed setup i'll get these covered with some um cling wrap and then i will show you where i have my seeds although if you saw my previous video of me starting some flower seeds you will know what my little greenhouse situation looks like now these ones i don't think um, so they, they germinate in a wide range of soil temperature, 18 to 29 degrees. So, um, yeah, I don't think they really need to have bottom heat. I'll make sure I keep them warm. And the lettuce, I don't think lettuce needs, lettuce can be planted before your last frost. So I don't think it needs to be warm either but they'll be in a warm location because it's a south window so anyways i hope you guys enjoy this kind of seed starting content and there will definitely be a lot more coming up i've got peppers tomatoes cabbage broccoli cauliflower um like all the hot peppers and, and bell peppers um i've got some perennials that i'm starting such as echinacea um delphiniums and some other annuals like Larkspur. Um, I'm also going to be starting a bunch of herbs coming up really soon. And yeah, you are not going to want to miss that. So make sure that you are subscribed and have your bell notification on because it's going to notify you when I post my next video. And I, I, I trust me, just trust me, you're not going to want to miss the content I have coming for you this year. This is the year we are ramping up all of our homesteading, all of our homesteading. We may be expanding our garden. We are planting a ton of new fruit trees. We are growing and raising our own food. We've got a dairy cow that we were milking this summer and fall, but she's dry now and she's gonna be having a calf. So there is a lot of variety. We raise a lot of our own meat. We have our own meat, um, like laying hen chickens. And so you do not want to miss out on any of the videos that will be coming out the rest of the year. So with that, I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.